All right, welcome to ETN News. We're starting off with the hot spots out in the ocean, Southern California. This is Mexico down here. Now we got that one, and we move on over to about right in here. You can see this coming across. This beam or whatever they got going on. But one before that, let me see, one after that. Then we got this other hot spot out here, out in California, Southern California. And we got another beam. Let's see if we can find it here. Right there it is. It goes through Mexico. And even after you take it off, you can still see that little hot spot that it left, a heat signature of some kind. See, there's nothing there before that. All right, let's go check something else out. Earthquakes. Let's check Hawaii out first. 2.2 south of the volcano of Kilauea. We've got this one down here, 2.2 south-southeast of the volcano, Kilauea. 4.1 miles deep, right on the slump. We had activity down through here the last... 24 hours we got these but we had activity up through here right before that just a few hours before that still watching the slump that's something that is not right over here in hawaii either a new eruption or the slump or something's going to occur here soon i think from the way everything's looking now we got alaska and look up here in the burn Strait. 3.4 southwest of Point Hope, Alaska, 4.3 miles deep. This is where the continents are moving, trying to move. Might take a lot of years from now, but these will be connecting Russia and Alaska. All right, what we got here, 4.4, that one's 63 miles deep not nothing real significant up here let's go check out the earthquakes on down here and see what we got going on nothing on the west up you know oregon or washington a couple of yellowstone montana 2.7 broadus montana or brodus ever how they want to pronounce that one 4.0 miles deep and then we got this 3.4, I think. I think it's what it was when it popped up. Yes, 3.4. East, southeast of Spanish Springs, Nevada, 4.4 miles deep. Still getting activity down through here. Around Mena and Beatty. And we got a swarm around Rachel. A small swarm. So watch for a larger earthquake in this area around Rachel, just in just in case we get one. 1.7 south of Beaver, Utah. Not much going on in Utah. And if you zoom in, this here scatters out. 2.2 Brego Springs, 7.7 7 miles deep. New Mexico, 3.8. Segundo, Colorado, south of there, 3.5 miles deep. But this in New Mexico. And then right at the corner of Texas, northeast, going into Oklahoma, 2.9, northeast of Follett, Texas, 0 0.8 miles deep, and a 2.3 right over from that one, 1 1.5 miles deep. Arkansas, 2.0, north of Black Rock, Arkansas. We're starting to get more activity around Arkansas here lately, 5.6 miles deep. And it's not showing anything over toward the east in the last 24 hours. Except for this swarm going on down here, which, you know, when you crack the crust, you, it's going to lead to larger activity. And since the activity around Oklahoma where they cracked the crust before, now it don't make it to Oklahoma. It believes 
its pressure down here. So it was getting some pretty good sized earthquakes in Oklahoma at the end before it calmed down. Now down here, it's going to get larger quakes because it's closer. It The activity don't have to travel so far. So we're going to increase in the future. They're going to see what they're doing to the earth right there. But it's too late then. The people has to live with it. That's the sad thing about it. Now over here on around Spanish Springs, we had that 3.4. That is right near Golden Eagle Regional Park. And you can see Virginia City. That's a big city. Let's hope nothing don't start occurring there, you know, repeatedly. No activity. Okay, you're going to see a flash. You can see what a big area it takes up. Canada is only reporting one quake, 0 0.6 around Quebec. We got these up here going over into Idaho, up to Montana, down into Yellowstone. Now, let's look at something else. Iceland. I've been watching Iceland ever since it erupted. Now, it erupts from time to time. So, that's kind of normal, as long as it ain't big. But this one increased. And, we over this way, a long ways away from that, is where we're getting our earthquakes. And stuff. And... A lot of volcanic fissures coming out through here. And right here we had a 4.2. That's away from that volcano. And we got a 3.8, 3.7, 4.1. That's 22 hours ago, 23 hours ago, 23, 22. So everything is calming down. And I don't know exactly what 4 is ramping up. You know, calming down before the storm, like the old saying goes, or what's going on there. Now, it's, it's close to this. It's all up in here. All this here is, and the restaurant, I'd say that's gone. Here's the fire map, the farm's fire map, and this is what it's showing. Nothing but red for, you know, that's miles, miles and miles. And you got going across, and there, I think there's like uh, five fissures, or maybe six. It's hard to keep up with. It's already going on right now that, it, you know, that it may spread it out. Now, here's where it's located in the last 24 hours. And you can see it going right over this and went right over that restaurant. And here's this city down here. Take a look at that. Okay. Grandavik. Never how they want to pronounce it, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, now that's that city. That's pretty close to that. Let's go back to looking at it like this. It's pretty big. It's, you know, it's almost the corner of the island. And as you can see, it's coming out into the ocean, the hot spots. And when I look at it on the map, this here is, if it's not already, it's in great danger of being took over, this whole city, if it's not already. Now, right here is the city. And as See, there's that restaurant I was talking about. It's probably gone. Let's see what we got here. Blue Lagoon. Closed. It needs to be closed. Right now. At this time.
that is pretty. So that's our the Blue Lagoon and that restaurant is being took over with lava. See all the stain that comes up out of that when people are, when it is open. Look at all that stain. Okay, now that there, as far as I know, most of that is already gone. And back to the fire map. You see this here where it erupted. But I have been watching it, and that city is in danger of being took over. Let's go to that real quick. Check it out before I look at the rest of this fire map. Okay, look at the bottom of the island. You see it lighting up. Then you see it lighting up outside the island, out in the ocean. This is picking up the heat. Here's the volcano. Here's all the heat that it's putting out. I mean, it's going way back farther than what they're showing. Look how far this goes back. If all this erupts, it would be a real bad disaster. But that's on live satellite radar. To go 16. And if I could get a closer image, you'd really see more about it. But right now, that's all we can see right there. Because you have to use global sectors, not localized sectors. This is about the closest views I could get on it. You know, it may be a bit, little blurry, but, you know, it's, we can see more about it. What's going on. All we want to do is see the red part. It's the most important. So all outside the islands, I mean the cities that there where we was looking at is lighting up. And it's going a long ways back on the island. So we'll go back to the Google Earth and see about where that's at. And you can see what when it's lighting up. See these two points right here coming together. You know, about right in here is where the where it's lighting up. And by looking at the Google Maps, we are all the way back through here. And all this here lights up. If you turn this around, the way we was looking at it. And right down here is the city we was looking at. All the way back here. And you can see the points where it comes back about right in here. So all this here was showing lit up with heat. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But we could see when it cracked before and, you know, everybody thought it was going to erupt, but they just going to pour water down in it. And if you pour water down in it, that hardens the crust where the, the volcanic can't breathe as it's flowing and that would cause an explosion or eruption and it would destroy probably destroy the island i mean most likely if they put enough cold water in there but anyway we didn't see no eruption coming but it did look like it was cracking and it did crack now we got this and it heated up so we got to be prepared just in case but you can go back and look at the you know images i showed you a few moments ago and put them together that's a big area. That's that whole piece of Iceland. All right, now let's go look at the weather. See what the weather looks like. Iceland, I mean uh, Greenland, it's got a good storm. This here, it don't show heavy rain. It shows snow up here, then moderate rain. But this is moderate rain too. Like this, 12... 
to have the inch, they were of an inch, second of an inch, and nineteenth of an inch. You know, I wonder if the radar is picking up something else going on in this area because it's showing all of it the same. But the red would be heavier rain, and you got the snow coming down. It's pretty how they got that. Man, we just had snow. Got about an inch. I'm glad to see this move on. That was, it had some wind with it right behind it. Caused me a little extra work that I didn't really need. Alright, that's a small storm. This one here is heading over to the Philippines. Let's hope it doesn't increase. As it's going to, well, it's already, let's don't cross the, that city there and yeah it's headed toward land it took a lot of rain with it maybe even flooding it depends it, like it don't have to take much rain this one's north of australia it's not really bad a lot of rain floods but you, you don't take much rain it could be uh an eighth of an inch but if it moves over your area slowly it takes hours to move over, it's going to increase. You know, you'll get a lot more. Alright, I'll see you on the next updates. Everybody stay safe, and we'll be watching.